Okay, I already did a full demo that lasted way longer than I wanted, so you can check that one out. But this one's meant to be a quick demo. Hopefully we can get it, you know, between five and ten minutes. So, first and foremost, you can go to my GitHub page, which has all the details on all the shortcuts and ways to use the Roam highlighter. So, to start, what we're going to do is go to a simple page here. And we're going to show you how to activate the highlighter. You can either click the highlighter button or you can hit Alt plus X. You can hit continue to hit Alt plus X or click the button to show or hide the window. To start highlighting, you then just simply select what you want and hit Control X for Windows or Command X for Macs. It's just basically the cut command. As you'll see, the highlights will populate over on the side over here. With this, you can make this bigger by clicking the expand button so you can see everything and then shrink it down. You can also click the settings button which will make this window smaller by default. So maybe you want it to be very low profile on the bottom right corner. You can do 20% by 20%. Hit save, shrink, and now it will stay down here very small and you can always expand to see it bigger. You can also hit wrap to wrap the text so you can see it all in one window and it's smaller as well. The next item we'll go through is removing links or highlights. So once we have these highlighted, if you hold control on Windows or Alt on Macs and click, you can remove each highlight individually. You can also you do this, you can go to settings and clear all highlights to get rid of all highlights, or as well, you can do Alt Q shortcut, in which case it will ask for confirmation to remove all the highlights. If you just want to remove partial highlight, right, by doing this, hitting Control or Alt click would remove the whole thing, but let's say I just want to remove one of these bullets. I can simply select the bullet that I want to remove and hit Control or Command X again to unhighlight just that piece of it. Um, as you highlight, the highlighter will auto. I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, so the highlight will auto indent based off of bullet indenting and or headers um, on pages. So if we go here, we'll see if we were to highlight all of this, you're going to see that it indented under here as well as under this H2 header here. And we paste that into Rome. You'll see that as well. And it comes in and the header formatted into Rome as well. And everything's indented appropriately. The next thing we'll look at is if you were to want to manually add a indent. So let's say you just were selecting, so you selected these three different highlights, okay? And let's say you wanted them though to be nested under this first one, you simply can hit hold alt and right click, which will turn the text red, and then now they will be indented under that. Or if we do this again, you can simply select a part of that highlight and hit alt plus A as an apple, and then it will do the whole thing and again indent it and in Rome it'll look like this. Now it's indented under there. Oh, let's see if I missed anything. So one thing to note is the settings do save. So as I change, let's say I made this really wide, and hit save. Or let's say I also can change the hashtag here, new, and hit save. Right now, the next time if I were to go to a new page and load up the Rome highlighter. It saves that, so it does the same settings, 
It also has new as the item, so it will save it from session session to session and tab to tab. So let's just go ahead and move this like that. Okay. So the next thing is page linking in Roam. So if I were to have this stuff highlighted, I can double click any word. It will turn it blue, which means it will now add double brackets to be page linking in Roam. You can also highlight multiple words and do Alt plus Z as in zebra, which will do multi-word uh, page linking. That works for single word as well, but it's much easier on single word to double click. And if we go in here, you'll now see these are page links. They've created their own page links. To get rid of these, you just simply do Control on Windows or Alt on uh, Macs and click them just like you remove whole highlights to remove these individuals. If you go to the yellow piece of it, it will actually remove the entire highlight still again. Okay, the next item I want to show is a bit of an anomaly. So let's say uh, in here, this HTML is kind of weird where these are actually line breaks along here. So if I were to select this whole thing, you'll notice over here it broke it into a bunch of individual lines, which is not what we want. So there are settings to handle that. So if you go in here, you can choose how to handle line breaks. You can nest under the first item, which would we don't want in this case, but at least it would nest it under there. You can do Control should be so essentially a soft line break inside, so that would look like this. Right, all one block, which is a little better, but still not great. And then the one we want is you can replace with single spaces. So there you go. Now it'd be more evident if we select multiple paragraphs. So now, it does exactly how we want it. It replaces the line breaks with spaces. Okay, the last feature item I want to show you is for Kindle, Notes, and Highlights. So you go to Settings. Let me just show you again. You go into Settings and you click this Kindle, Notes, and Highlights. When you get to this page, you will notice that in the settings these items are added and this get Kindle highlights button is added. By default, if you click that, it's gonna take all of the highlights, the notes underneath it, what color highlight it was, the location, all the information about the book, and it's gonna put it in room format, just like this. Now, you'll notice there are settings here, so you can actually hide the location default will actually be like this. So you have the location and the highlight color by default. You always hit save and hit get highlights and you'll see it update over here. Now you might not want the location or the highlight so you can just undo this here and hit save and then now it's only going to show the highlights. The highlights along with the notes underneath it. So there's a few different ways you can modify it. The last item to note is that you can actually modify the shortcuts yourself by going into extensions, keyboard shortcuts, and you'll see here, here are the shortcuts that you can change yourself. Please go to my GitHub page, which has a bunch of demos and more detailed instructions for all the items that I just went through. I also created a full video that is about 25 minutes long that you can watch if you want some more details on each of these items. Thanks.